Well, hello once again and welcome to Yorkshire Gamer. And uh, we are on part six, would you believe, of Build the Bismarck. It's uh, it's getting more parts than one of those Agostini uh, build yeah, ship uh, jobs. Uh, and uh, we are, we're getting there, to be fair. There's only a couple of three stages to go. We've got all the basic colours on. And uh, today I'm going to have a look at um, painting the deck, doing a bit of dry brushing, and then getting everything varnished ready for weathering um, so then we'll just have the weathering process and then we will have the final construction so we're kind of getting there even though it doesn't look like we've actually done much we are getting there so just a word about uh, sorting the deck out you can buy um, like a wooden uh, stick on deck that goes over the top of here um, they're quite expensive, maybe 20 plus quid. Um, so for a model, static model in a display, I might consider it. But this is a wargaming piece, as I've said before. Uh, so I am going to um, paint the deck on. And uh, it's kind of a trade-off, really. Um, you could airbrush the deck, but then all the grey parts on the deck would be uh, deck colour or... You can spray the deck grey and then you need to paint the deck. It's one or the other. And just over the years, building ships, um, usually at a much smaller scale than this, I've always done it this way around and I've always physically painted the deck. So the paint I'm going to use is this stuff. Uh, good old Vallejo model colour and it is tan yellow is the colour. Just let's spin that around uh, 7 0 uh, 912 is the number, tan yellow. A um, little bit, maybe a little bit too dark for some, a little bit yellowy for some. Um, I just particularly like the look of it. And um, it's going to be the colour I am going to use. And I'm going to get rid of uh, the sea base. That can go back up there because we're not, we're not going to paint that tan yellow. Um, and it is, unfortunately, a really laborious and long-winded job so uh, this is probably a good time to stick a uh, podcast on may i suggest the yorkshire gamer podcast because all i am going to do uh, for probably the next hour or so is literally paint the deck uh, it is a case of um slowly and steadily and literally painting up as best as you can up to uh, you know the various features that uh, we've got on the deck and you can see there bringing that up to the camera we've got you know little lumps and bumps everywhere and uh, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch all of this because uh, you will uh, go to sleep very very quickly um, but uh, so that's what I'm going to do and uh, I'll come back to you when that's all done so here we are about an hour later uh, and as you can see uh, I've painted all of the deck with the tan yellow. Uh, I've just done that freehand. Uh, I've not put any masking on. I, you know, I see, I do see some people trying to mask all these tiny little bits. And yeah, it's a way of doing it, but it just takes forever. Uh, and I'm trying to uh, get a model on a table here. Um, so if you look really, really closely, you'll find, I'm sure, um, bits where I've gone over parts of the grey there um, etc so I'm trying to be as neat as I possibly can without spending uh, half of my life on it and uh, I think I've done a decent job there um, as well as um, the the main hull of the ship as well the uh, other parts of Bismarck that have got the wooden decks on so as you can see we've kind of got the next layer that sits on top there that's been done and then there are uh, some pieces of the command tower that have got small amounts of uh, wooden decking on as well. So they've all been painted and then the next uh, stage I'm going to do is a thing called dry brushing. Okay, uh, you would have seen me do some uh, dry brushing back in the episode where we painted the base. And uh, I'm going to do some more dry brushing now on the main hull and superstructure of the ship. And the colour I'm going to use is 70883 Silver Grey, uh, which is, as it says, a silvery uh, grey. And uh, what I'm going to try and do is 
if you remember, just get a bit of paint on the paintbrush, wipe most of it off on a bit of newspaper or an old bit of MDF or whatever, and then we are literally dragging this across the surface. I'll just try and zoom in so you can see that a bit better. Okay, let's try this. We've, uh, we've got a little bit more light uh, now. So, paintbrush. And we're just dragging it lightly across the surface so that the uh, paint, or the very tiny amount of paint on the brush is... I'm going to take that off that nail because it's uh, slowly coming off. Uh, just picks up the edges on the model just to give it a little bit more depth and uh, I don't know whether the camera's particularly picking it up uh, very well I can see it quite clearly under the light myself um, but that's all it's doing so I'm just going to do that um, on let's zoom out again all of this all stuff you've seen before uh, so that's all I'm going to do I'm not going to go through it with you because uh, it would be quite boring seeing me do all that so it's silver grey dry brush on everything that we've got uh, grey on the ship at the moment so once again I shall be about an hour and I'll see you in a moment uh, apologies for shaky cam uh, I'm just going to go down what we've been doing uh, this part here you could probably best see the dry brushing that I've done uh, it's worked really well on that and uh, as you can see I've not done anything with the planes yet um, but everything has been uh, dry brushed just to give it that little edge on there if you can see that uh, so there's lots to be working on there and uh, in here we have uh, we've got the turrets which have uh, been dry brushed as well just to bring out that detail and the riveting on there and finally uh, we've got the ship itself a little bit of uh, dry brushing on there so what i'm going to do now is i am going to use this stuff uh mr super clear gloss uh to spray everything with i'm going to do that downstairs in the cellar uh, so i don't knock myself out uh, and that will then get me in a stage where i'm going to start doing the weathering and uh, the final construction. So here is a uh, part of the Bismarck. This is the uh, sort of the first deck above the main uh, deck. And as you can see, it's quite shiny. If you remember at the end of the last episode, uh, I'd covered everything in uh, Mr. Clear gloss varnish, which I've sprayed on. And uh, that's got a lovely sheen. That's not going to be the finished look of the ship. Um, it's got gloss varnish on for a very good reason, and that is for the weathering process. And the first thing I'm going to look at is wood. And uh, I'm going to be using this stuff, AK Interactive Wash for Wood. Uh, whereas everything I've used so far, um, bar the uh, gloss varnish, has been uh, water-based. Uh, these are um, enamels. So, um, very good, AK Interactive um stuff that they do for weathering is absolutely superb uh, so give it a good shake and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use uh the capillary action i think it probably is um on of the deck and a bit of gravity so when you're painting and uh, using weathering you let gravity help you out so if i just dot this on here can you see how that is running down it keeps going in and out of focus i do apologize that uh, it runs down the length of the wood panels that have been um etched into the part uh, on the basic model and all i'm going to do is just use this it doesn't matter if you go over um too much because we can we can wipe that off later on but already can you see that it's giving us um very much a definition 
to the various parts of uh, the decking. Um, there we go. So we'll flip this up at the other end and uh, just get going on here. And you can see how it naturally runs down uh, just with gravity. Try not to get, if you can, too much on the um, sides of this particular feature. And uh, we're not trying to soak it, we're just trying to get a covering so that all of the uh, deck planks are separately visible and also if you go in one direction with the brush and I've been farting about going in opposite directions you should get a consistent look what you're trying not to get is what we've got down here where we've got different shades etc so I'll finish this bit off and uh, come back to you in a moment um, with uh, the next stage so here we have the finished section um, we've got everything covered in terms of wood I realized I missed a section off here um, that I'm going to need to paint later on but I'm just going to do that later on so what we're going to need then next is some distilled turpentine Windsor and Newton I've gone all posh and some little cotton buds and uh, you eco-terrorists out there you'll uh, these are cardboard they're not plastic anymore uh, so quick dip into the turpentine and uh, wash the vast majority of it off and then what we're going to do is we're just going to very gently Very difficult to do this and keep everything in focus because it's quite hard to see what I'm doing through the lens of the camera so I'm trying to if I if I reach round and look through the camera then unfortunately it uh, starts to change the focus to what's behind what we're actually looking at well, there we go we've kind of got the effect that I'm looking for there we're just kind of lightening off that plank look it's a bit dark for some people I appreciate that you know the decks could be a very very light tan but I just particularly I, I like this look and uh, it's my bloody ship doing what I want with it so there we go with the with the wood effect and our little cotton bud so you kind of get the idea of what's going on here I'm just going to uh, complete that in a second off camera uh, but I've already done the um, various little bits of wood from the uh, control tower and uh, that's at the base of the funnel if I remember correctly and uh, top of the bridge and uh, more parts of the main tower so there we go that's all been done I'll do the main deck of the Bismarck and I'll come back to you very very shortly so here's all the wood decking finished uh, quite like the look of that. That's just using that to wash and uh, pull off technique with the um, cotton buds. Now this bit here that I was a bit worried about, I've uh, dry uh, checked some of the uh, parts and I actually don't need to do that. It isn't uh, visible when complete. Uh, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to start building and weathering uh, the ship uh, and building it up from the base uh, going up towards um, the top uh, so I'm going to weather this uh, which is the the first full bit and for that I am going to use a bit of salt streaking I am going to use a bit of rust streaking 
and I'm going to use this stuff, which I know it says is streaking grime for Panzer Grey, uh, but it works brilliantly on ships. So, uh, very similar to the technique that we've just looked at with um, the wood decks, in that I am going to... Um, first of all, I'll start with the, the rust, so I'll give that a good shake. And now, <clears throat> the pictures of uh, Bismarck that I've got, um, she's relatively clean to be fair, um, but you're still going to get bits of uh, rust coming from areas where you've got um, dips in the uh, in the soup in the sorry in the side of the hull, so where the anchor are, anchor is from portholes from uh, like we've got here. We've got uh, this, uh, I don't know what it is, a <laughs> bit, of, bit of plank. Um, and then where other parts of the superstructure meet the deck is where you'll tend to get stuff. And all I'm doing is I'm just drawing little lines on with the brush. And it's going to... I'm not going to put too much on, on this because, like I say, um, Bismarck really wasn't that badly uh, affected by rust. When you're doing, say, a Liberty ship or something similar, then you're going to have a lot more uh, stuff on the side. So there we go. There's a little bit of uh, rust. And this isn't the finished um, thing that we're doing um uh, there's going to be another process on top so streaking grime next put some of this on this looks very similar but is is, is a lot darker and i'm going to use that a little bit up here to because i'm i would have preferred this bit here to be darker so i'm going to use a bit of streaking grime just to uh Darken it off, and again, I don't want to go too mad with this. And uh, I shouldn't have put the the flagpole on. Uh, that was definitely a mistake. So a bit more on the the back with the. I don't think I've got this quite dark enough. Uh, so I'm going to use a bit of streaking on there to uh, make that work. And then finally, I'm going to add, a, I need to clean the brush before I do this because uh, salt is in a completely different colour. Uh, just let me dry this off as well. So next up is a bit of salt streaking. And... Uh, Obviously that's white. Uh, I'm just going to put some bits down. There's no point putting any on there, for example. But it's just a case of dabbing it on here and there. A little bit on there. And I'm not putting anything on the darker end bits because I want to use that as... Uh, something to darken that end off now I'll tip that up again that looks pretty pretty shy doesn't it <laughs> really uh so oh, he's ruined it uh, but we are going to go in with our magic uh cotton buds again and uh, we're going to do a bit of magic with them so i'll get my uh trusty cotton buds off with the cardboard things uh just Dip it into there ever so slightly. I'm going to try to soak it. Um, and then I'm going to start working the grime. And I always go bottom to top like this. And you can see how already how it's... Uh, lightening the effect that we've got on there and in some cases you, you you're nearly getting rid of all of it 
to apologise for this camera keep coming out of, out of focus. So just going to go across there. So we're kind of, we are replicating the effect of rust coming down the side of the ship. And the salt streaks are different. Just going to clean those. And they are very, very subtle. Going to go left to right with those. Very, very subtle indeed. Um, work a lot better on the darker colour of, say, a Liberty ship, for example. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to not make it look like we've just got a load of dots and stuff on the side of the ship. And uh, we're doing okay with that so far. A little bit of an issue there with it collecting in the ridge because obviously everything is going to run up and down so we don't want sideways with that. Bit of salt streak to rub in now. Move that left to right. Again, it's very, very subtle. Very, very subtle. And uh, yeah, that ridge is causing all sorts of problems. As I'm gonna, ha I'm having to go in and uh, move it. So, getting the idea now with this, very, very subtle. Very, very subtle, just kind of a, an ageing process, if you like. Uh, and I'll finish all this off, end off down here, and uh, do the other side, and then I'll come back to you. There we go. Very, very subtle, but that's what I'm after, because, as I say, uh, Bismarck was relatively clean. She'd only just been painted uh, before she went out to sea, so you kind of get the look. You might not think it's worth it for all that uh, messing about, but it does give a reality to the ship that you wouldn't have if you if you hadn't done it. So there we go. Uh, that is uh, the, that bit done. I'm uh, going to stick this now to the uh, the main base um, and start building upwards. So uh, I should when if you remember back in episode one, this isn't a waterline ship. This is a, a full hull ship. Ship, and if you look, it's quite roughly cut by me. Uh, so, Norm, the next bit I'm not gonna uh, do a lot of on the video because normally you would just stick it to the bit of plastic base that was on there. I haven't got that. I'm gonna have to do a bit of work to get this on the base, but you won't have to do that if if you more sensible than me and you buy the right ship. So I'm going to stick this on the base and uh, then start working from there.